What's up, guys? Celtics beat the Magic, make it eight in a row. They've won eight in a row, and uh, what you know? What are you gonna say? The the our bench is so good and so deep that as long as the starters even keep it a game, we are gonna win. You know, seven out of ten games because our bench is just gonna put us through. You know, Marcus Smart, Terry Rozier, even Shane Larkin, Aaron Baines now on our bench. Shemi Ojale continuing to shoot well and to play outstanding defense and to get upwards of 15, 20 minutes a game. So in this, this doesn't even include guys who are NBA capable like uh, Abdul Nader, Yabuselli, Daniel Tice, right? So as long as these starters, and this is almost like an all-star team, isn't it? Not quite, but these are all big names right now. Big names. Jalen Brown looking like he just might be one of the very best defenders in the league right now. Just absolutely taking that step. Perfect body, perfect uh, quick twitch, perfect focus, perfect maturity. With that youth, that 21, just barely 21 years, you know, he combines the ultimate um, ultimate physicality, ultimate physical specimen, athletic specimen with the youth. So a lot of guys, they'll mature into, you know, being this focused and hardworking on defense, but maybe it doesn't happen until they're 28, 29, 30, and they're already on the other side of their uh, athleticism. Uh, Kyrie Irving continuing to play good defense as well. That vegan diet, I think, really working for him. Cardiovascularly, quickness-wise, keeping him real light and lean. And uh, Jalen Brown, guys, he's a, he's a vegan too, so don't sleep on that plant-based diet as far as uh, cleaning out your cardiovascular, giving you a better motor, you know, letting you play longer, play faster, play with better focus, and uh, at a very, very low body fat. So food for thought. Marcus Smart looks like he's probably gained about seven pounds. You know, he was down to like 225 and he's already. See, the problem is uh, once the season starts, when you're on the road and you start eating that fast food or something, guys, you know, like uh, Jared Selinger could always show up at camp in decent shape. But then as soon as he hit the road, all those Big Macs really take a toll and the, and the pounds add up real fast. So Marcus Smart, I hope he gets in touch with Kyrie Irving and Jalen Brown and starts considering that little more plant-based diet. Give him that uh, great energy that he had uh, early in training camp and preseason and early in the season because uh, you can already see the pounds adding up. But uh, guys, let me know what you thought. Al Horford once again, uh, amazing. Marcus Morris's first start was a little bit of a disappointment in the first quarter or two. Like the team was still getting used to playing with him, right? So they came out a little sluggish, a little discombobulated, but uh, he, he second half, he was good. Hits a couple tough shots for us that we really needed and he got to the free throw line well. So that's a great skill he can bring to the table. So hopefully he keeps drawing those fouls. Can already see signs of him being our enforcer in that um, starting lineup. So our rebounding is probably going to go down a little bit with him as the starter instead of Aaron Baines. But overall, we should be all set once they really start clicking, guys. We're just going to have unlimited open shots with four or five guys who can create and make their own shot late in the shot clock if need be but while trying to play a motion-based offense where uh there's no one-on-one -on -one being played uh unless it's in the last five seconds of the shot clock but so far so good guys now we're just gonna where do we go miami or something atlanta tomorrow i think it's atlanta we're looking real good for tomorrow too eight in a row guys let me know what you thought of the game and i will see you soon peace